about to start jump roping and generally I jump rope for about 10 minutes or so. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on this, but I read that jump roping for 10 minutes is the equivalent of running for a mile. And since the summertime is here and it's really hot outside, I don't want to be out running in the direct sunlight. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump rope back here where the shade is. All right, we're running into some technical difficulties because I can't work out with this here because this rope is going to keep hitting on the leaves. So I'm going to have to go down that way, which I don't want because I don't want my neighbors to see me. Okay, timer done. First, I always like to get my cardio in. So now that that is done, I'm going to go and continue my workout indoors. Jumping rope really drains me, so you guys know that it is time for some pre-workout. Otherwise, I just get really tired during the workout, and I'm like, okay, I need to call it quits. But if I have the pre-workout, then I feel like I can go a little bit longer. Also, um, my body kind of like low-key hurts just a tiny bit because yesterday I fell. So I was on my way outside and then I realized, oh, I need to wash the towels. So I went into the bathroom. I went to grab the towels when I turned around and all of a sudden I tripped in midair. I don't know how it happened. So my ankle rolled and I just fell back. And I swear my whole life flashed before my eyes. And next thing I know, I was just on the ground. I was like, what just happened? Got up, acted like nothing happened. I was like, I'm not hurt at all. It's fine. And then today, kind of low-key feel a little bit of pain back here, but it's fine. It's not like a dramatic pain. <gasps> I'm sorry for the damage I've caused. So apparently, I grind my teeth in my sleep, which I was today years old when I found that out. I was feeling around in my mouth, you know, had some sensitivity, swore I had a cavity. So I went to the dentist, let him know I thought I had a cavity. He took a look, he said, ma'am, you do not have a cavity. That is in fact <laughs> from you grinding your teeth. I was like, excuse me, what do you mean? Basically when I'm grinding my teeth, I'm like grinding against my tooth. So it's gonna wear out after a while, you know? That sounds very aggressive in English. It sounds like I'm gonna lose my tooth. That's not what's happening here. But I do need to solve this issue. He said there's two solutions. Either I get braces, which I was like, no gracias. And then he said I can also get a mouth guard. So we're gonna be doing that today. We're gonna go to the store, buy a mouth guard and also a toothpaste, which he recommended for the teeth so that the sensitivity can go away after I work out, of course. One thing I love to do when I work out is just get in the zone and something that helps me out is turning on my LED lights because I like to blast some music. So I'm gonna have the music set up on my speaker and then I connect the LED lights. Usually I like to work out in a red light. <laughs> Guys, I swear the mind is so powerful and you might think I'm dumb, but I swear to you when I work out in red lights, I feel like I'm getting more of a burn because for some reason it just, I don't know if it seems so intense. So I feel like I go more intense. And then also I like to turn off my fan because then the room gets a little bit not hot because the AC is still on in the house, but there's no like air circulation. So I feel like I sweat more and I think of it as like hot yoga in my room, but working out. And of course you always just want to make sure you're listening to your body. So if it starts to get really hot, like turn on the fan, like don't push yourself to an extent that you cannot handle. This for me just works. Like I said, I've done it so many times and I really enjoy it. And then of course we're going to turn the lights off so that we can really get in the zone. And then I'm going to turn on the speaker and then it's just going to be a great time. I spoke it dope in front of public housing. Daydreaming about the day I make a hundred thousand with my dogs. If you hate they be fucking growling. Stay peeping out the club cause they be fucking prowling. When in high school, they ain't fuck with the boy. I mean, the gang did. We skipped the class and thought that we was on some lame shit. But now we glowing up and we gonna be famous. Shit. I'm gonna make an acai bowl for breakfast and I actually forgot how to make it. So this is the great thing about vlogging. I recorded how to make it. So I'm just gonna go back and watch my old video and that way I can remember how to do it. have to be super duper slow with my acai bowl because it is overfilled. Messy, but delicious. Okay, I got a stain here. All right, ignore the stains. I saw that taking greens in the morning really helps with bloating. They had a different brand, but you know, we're on a budget. 
So I got this at Walmart and this is amazing grass. It's a green superfood, which is great for your daily nutrition. It gives you natural energy, promotes detox, helps alkalize, supports digestive health, supports immunity. I looked up what alkalize means the other day, but I already forgot. So let me look it up again for you. An alkalized body often results in more nights of peaceful, deep sleep, an increase in energy, and a reduction in weight. So I guess it kind of just helps stabilize your body. And tell me why. So I have to mix it in with eight ounces of water. Put in a scoop of this. So if you're curious, this is what it looks like on the inside. They had two different flavors. They had a berry flavor and they had this green flavor. Tell me why. I decided as trying to be really healthy and i was like this is gonna help me feel like i'm being extra healthy you know and honestly it's not that bad the only thing i do hate is at first when you take a sip you can taste like the grassiness of it but other than that it's kind of flavorless to me so i don't mind it and because it's green it makes me feel super healthy Ugh. i'm being a mess today i'm so sorry honestly kind of flavorless like i would have thought the green would have been more like really overpowering and tastes like a lot like grass i feel like iced tea tastes more like grass than this does all right i was really dreading coming out here because it is three in the afternoon 108 degrees and it's not that bad but i did just walk out so i could be jinxing it we'll see oh by the way guys i have my pepper spray on the keys now and actually oh it's hot in here i'm gonna have to keep the ac on full blast it's hot as balls in here but we are going to bust a mission and go and get that teeth guard because honestly i feel like i can feel it more now now that i'm aware of it i don't know if you guys have ever heard of that theory where like once you see something experience something want something all of a sudden you see it you feel it you hear everywhere that's how i am right now so since the dentist confirmed that i grind my teeth at night now suddenly i can feel my teeth grinding at night by the way i just have my hair up i'm not trying to do it right now like no makeup nothing it's all gonna sweat off but anyways Let's go to Walmart because it is too freaking hot to think right now. All right, so I made it to Target. I don't, can't remember if I said I was gonna go to Walmart, but I decided last minute to just come to Target. Is that Target? That's Michael's. Target is next door. I found the mouth guard that I need. This one is a nighttime teeth grinding, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go treat myself to Starbucks because it is freaking hot and it just went up two more degrees. It's 110 now. Wait, no, that's three degrees since we first came out. It was 107, now it's 110. <laughs> okay. I got myself a Starbucks and they put it all the way to the top. The lady was so nice. And it was really good. I'm about to try the night guard. I've heard mixed reviews with this mouth guard. Some people say it doesn't work, some people say it does work. I don't know. I'm uninsured. I'm trying to just resolve this issue for the meantime. I do eventually want to get Invisalign if that is something that can work for me. I really don't want braces. If it has to come down to it, then fine. But um, for the, yeah, I can't open boxes. It comes with a little case for the mouth guard, an antibacterial one, so it's supposed to like keep it clean. This and this is the mold itself. All right, so first let's talk about, I honestly didn't even know I had been grinding my teeth until I was told I was grinding my teeth. When I went to the dentist, I thought I had a cavity and then he told me that it was just like me wearing out my teeth from grinding my teeth. My sister says that I grind my teeth all the time. She's never told me because she thought I knew and i did wake up one time with my teeth actively grinding and i was like that's weird but that was like the only time i ever noticed it i've never really woken up with like a sore jaw so i don't think that my teeth grinding is related to any sort of like sleep apnea but i do grind my teeth to the point where it's wearing out my tooth enamel so i need to try something for the meantime i do see that one side is like completely flat and the other side does have an indent so so I assume that does go against your teeth. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in there. Okay, I think this should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and it said to let it sit for about 
10 seconds. I really don't know what that's gonna do, but we're letting it sit for 10 seconds. We're gonna take this and drop it in there. We let it float for about 45 seconds, and then I'm gonna just rinse it for no more than one second and then hold it in my mouth for two minutes. This is a lot of steps. <laughs> we're gonna rinse it in cold water for no more than one second, and then I put it in my mouth and I'm scared because it's hot. Okay, so we rinsed it for 20 seconds. Now we remove the guard from the fitting tray. There we go. Okay, so the actual molding process, it's not bad at all. It's only two minutes. The only thing I didn't like was because this is so hard, you can feel it putting pressure on your jaw. So it feels like you have pressure on there, but again, it's only two minutes long. It's not bad at all. It's not painful. It's not that bad. I thought it was gonna, okay. <laughs> so far, it's pretty comfortable. Again, I only had it in for like a couple seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on overnight tonight. And then in the morning, I'll let you guys know how it went. If it was painful, if I hated it, if I had any trouble while sleeping, I'll let you guys know that because again, it's only like one day. I won't be able to tell a difference at all. So I'll definitely update you guys in the long run. But for this video's sake, I'll just let you guys know how the whole like first day process was. It is now 11 to 1. I am gonna go to sleep. The grandma inside of me is calling out to take a nap. A long nap. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. I don't think it's gonna be annoying, but I'll let you guys know for sure in the morning. Good morning, guys. I'm dying. My computer is dying. It's 6.04. I'm gonna go take this off. My computer, my camera, I'm so silly. review of the mouth guard so first of all it was not impossible to sleep with when i took it off it did feel weird like my teeth felt like they didn't belong together <laughs> because they had been apart for so long you know it's not like anything that's painful i really don't I mean, some people said that mouth guards would shift their jaw. I don't see how it could do. I mean, I guess I could kind of see because at night, so your teeth know how to close when they're together, right? It's like they feel each other, so they stop and they're in place. But with the mouth guard, I feel like my teeth didn't know where my other teeth were because the mouth guard is like so thick. It almost low key felt kind of like they were in the wrong spot but i was closing my mouth normally if that makes sense just because they couldn't like touch each other i didn't have any like problems with like breathing at all i was low-key a little scared because I was reading reviews and people were saying that like you could choke on it i don't see how i could choke on it unless i was to like eat it up like in pieces but i mean it was like pretty stuck on my top teeth and i could drink water overnight when i was thirsty and i was breathing fine like there was no problem i'm definitely going to use it for a week straight um just so i can give the toothpaste some time to like really work and you know do what it's got to do to fix the sensitivity in there um i don't know if it takes longer than that i don't know why i grind my teeth it's probably like stress related anxiety related but i don't really get stressed out or anxious as much anymore so i really don't know where this is coming from i feel like a lot of the things that we deal with are like low-key like we don't know we're dealing with them but like we're constantly dealing with them it's like you know we're always thinking about things in our head and even if we're not physically feeling it those things that we think of mentally are also draining us and i'm pretty sure that that's what it is so just because they can't see it or feel it physically i'm like i'm fine but i do have to deal with a lot of things mentally so that's probably what it is but that was it for this video it was totally random but i want to try to vlog a little bit more and even if my days aren't like super interesting i mean because my days aren't always interesting but that is it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure you give it a like and help me out with the algorithm let them know you like this video and don't forget to go down and subscribe you can also turn on those post notifications so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video which is every friday at 11 11 a.m but that is pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys off right here i will see you all later peace